Hello all, welcome to another episode of GitHub Copilot. In today's episode, we will look into the code review aspect. Code review is one of the core tasks for the development team. We need to review the code developed by either our own code or the peers code. The review process will include various elements. It can be the coding standards or the functionality, performance, various metrics or checklists will be there. The code review checklist will uh, varies from project to project, but most of the time it comprises of the coding standards. So today's scope of this video will be only how we can use Copilot to check whether our code is aligned to a specific coding standard or not. For this particular video, I am using the code review checklist defined by Floral Site. In as per Floral Site, the code review comprises of verifying the feature requirements, the readability aspect, whether it can test maintainability elements, security and the performance, and whether we have adequate documentation. And the last one in the inspect the naming conventions, that's a coding standards. So today we will look on the inspecting the naming convention or the coding standard element. And the subsequent videos will cover the remaining areas or the list of items mentioned by Floral Site. So when it comes to inspecting the naming conventions, again the Floral Site defined a clear scope of what exactly naming convention. It should align to the variable names or the constant name, the fields or properties, any construct we use in the quotes should be having a meaningful name. And it should be simple, legitimate, and also it's uh, adhered to the business naming conventions. We may have defined some coding standards specifying that any variable we define it should have a naming convention in terms of Pascal case, Camel's case, Snake case, various naming conventions be defined. And also it should be meaningful. It should hold the meanings of the value or functionality it is doing. It should convey the function what exactly it's going to do. So let us uh, use this specific ask in the naming convention area and see whether Copilot will be able to help us in reviewing the code of us or the peers. So let us go directly into the demo. So I have two files here. One is a simple JS file with the three methods and a binary search Python file. So I will come to this later. So starting with the JS file, I'm directly taking the naming convention queries defined by floral site and see whether copilot will be able to support me in reviewing this code so let me go ahead i did some changes in terms of the naming conventions and some of the things okay let me just take the complete code and ask the copilot do the names convey what a function or variable is this is my first question to copilot so it's a just a copy paste from the checklist defined by floral site and it's giving a detailed information so functions it's covered and if you notice that the last function Let's have a recommendation. The last one is check, which is not conveying any message. So based on the functionality, it's understand check can be renamed to this format is anagram for better clarity. And also in the naming conventions, uh, I have re used a name RE, that is for the validate email case. And this can be the email regex. Actually, the regex is represented, RE is representing the regex for the email. So better to rename it as email regex. And there is an RC, remove character, 
in palindrome and rc in czech should be removed characters so here i have a rc which indicate that what kind of characters needs to be removed or what exactly the things are and is palindrome there is a reverse string so one of the things needs to be changed to reverse string also so the modified code is here if you notice here this one check palindrome is changed to reverse string it's actually we are doing a reverse here the functionality is applied so this actually indicate the reverse string so we can check it out so that replacement is done name of this function is changed and the variable is given a more meaningful name in terms of the first one also email regex instead of re so the first checklist item in terms of the naming convention which can convey the functionality it can be in a function name level or a variable name so copilot is able to identify the functionality is based on the different constructs and able to decide what kind of name may be better suitable for my variables and functions other i can accept this and go ahead and see what will be the next suggestion so let me go for another question in terms of whether this particular one is giving me uh, contextually if i look at it's automatically changed to is anagram and all but uh, is it uh, contextually based on all other methods all other functionalities is it going to give me the proper naming convention it needs to consider the naming convention used in my workspace or the files used all the js files defined in my workspace is adhered to a specific naming convention is this new functionality is aligned to that or not in that case you can start with a workspace this is the agent available as part of your copilot and ask about is the name of my function explains the context or scope of the overall code base so i am just asking whether it's uh, the name is more meaningful or already copilot is suggested a proper naming convention for me but i'm checking whether this kind of mechanism when i say in the workspace context whether my functionality is defined the context specific one or not so it's went to refer more fun, uh, different files in my area and based on that it comes with a suggestion so it's checked overall around 13 different files based on that a more descriptive name must be r anagrams these s1 and s2 is anagram or not and i have asked only the functional uh, function name that's my specific call out here so it's check the context and decided what will be the more appropriate function name for this similarly all these naming conventions um, i can take the other checklist item are the names are simple or legible so I just copy pasted the checklist item and checking whether copilot is able to understand whether it's a simple and legible name for the variables and functions and everything so it's again went ahead and given me a proper clear description in terms of email regex cleaned string reverse string is anagram all these elements are suggested by copilot so this is one aspect of things now coming to it's taken the context or the naming convention used in my workspace and also it suggested the standards followed by this technology stack based on that the suggestions are came now 
let us see how we can review the code against a coding standard defined in our system. So I have this Python application or a file which I need to check against the coding standard in defined in this particular format. It's a YML or JSON different format you can use for coding standards. So go to the Python file and I'm going to invoke as I need to check against a file in my workspace, I can use the workspace here and specify that review my code using the coding standards defined in what is the file. Either you can use the file symbol and say pycoding.yml. This is my file which contain the coding standard. So review this particular code based on the pycoding.yml file. So it's understand the file from the uh, workspace, took the file, coding standard file, and based on that, it's going to review this complete code. So let it complete the review. Meantime, I can open the file here, and you can see that the coding standard defined for the functions, the function name should be a snake case. But here I am using a different case. That's a first suggestion. It should be checked prime. It should be replaced. And indentation also defined somewhere here. That needs to be four spaces. So in case any of the lines doesn't have that one, that is also checked. And the line length should not exceed 79 characters. This is the length defined that is also ca calculated. And we need a comments in terms of the doc strings and inline should be hash based. And the variable names should follow the snake case. So these are the coding standards defined as part of my coding standard. And based on that, the copilot helped me to review my code and also rewrite using the coding standard. Replace the name of the function and also the name of the any of the snake case. The variable is also snake case and the indentation and the comment. If you look at any of the inline comments should have a hash symbol and any doc string should be followed the normal numby format. So this is how you can use the support of Copilot to review your code using the context of your application or using a specific coding standard file and get a code review done quickly for your code or your peers code. Thank you.